My name is Sarah Liu, and I was born and raised in Vancouver, BC. Personally, I think I'm pretty westernized in terms of the way I was brought up. I speak predominantly English, and I fully understand Cantonese, but unfortunately I can't speak it very well. I'd like to think that I'm getting better, but unfortunately I never speak it at home, and the only time I ever do speak it is at work, where I actually learn most of my Cantonese. Um, I am a Chinese Canadian, and I grew up surrounded by a majority of people that were from Asian backgrounds in my neighborhood and in my school. Uh, not all, but a ma big majority of all my friends are Asian. From the way that I was brought up, uh, I do think that I live in a fairly traditional Chinese household. However, arguably my parents would disagree with that, but I feel a lot of traditional values have been integrated into their lives growing up. So my father was born and raised in Hong Kong. He was from a family of seven children, and he was one of three boys, and he also had four sisters. So in about 1983, my grandfather had sent my father to move to Toronto, Ontario in Canada to attend private schooling when he was 17 years old, which was following the footsteps of my two uncles before him. So his four sisters, even though one was older than him, all had to remain in Hong Kong, were not given these same opportunities. So each of the sons were sent individually to Canada for further education when they each reached about 16 or 17 years old. His oldest brother arrived first in Toronto by himself and furthered his education at the University of Toronto. Uh, following him, his second older brother completed high school in Toronto and then moved down to Texas to finish his post-secondary degree at the University of Texas. Um, my father went when he was 17 years old and attended private school in Toronto for about two years. And in 1985, my grandfather decided to immigrate to Canada. He brought my grandmother, his own mother, and his four daughters along with him and decided to move to Regina, Saskatchewan, in which my father had to meet them there to help them with immigration and settling in Canada because he was the only one who could speak English. It wasn't for a few years before they decided to move to Vancouver. My mother was born in a smaller rural part of China, in Punye. My mother is from a family of two girls and has one younger sister. In 1981, her family decided to immigrate to Canada and move straight to Burnaby, BC, where my mother was at the age of 14. So not having any boys in her family and being the oldest girl, my mother was expected to contribute to majority of the household duties and responsibilities. So my parents actually met in 1990 in Burnaby when they were still young in their early 20s. Unfortunately, health was becoming a big issue for my great-grandmother on my father's side, and she grew consistent on her hopes of having a great-grandchild. So shortly after, my parents got married, and then they had my older sister, who was born in 1991. Unfortunately, right before she was born, my great-grandmother grew blind, but having a great-grandchild still fulfilled her wishes. She then passed shortly after. My parents had hoped to have a boy, but unfortunately for them, they ended up having three daughters. Being the middle child, I have one older and one younger sister, and having three girls in the family, my parents definitely became much more protective. When my older sister and I were younger, my father thought the best way for us to protect ourselves since we didn't have any brothers was to enroll us in martial arts. Surprisingly enough, Taekwondo did become a very big part of my life. I started when I was six years old and continued for a little over six years. At the time, I did really hate it because I was really small and weak and mostly everyone in my height range were boys, so during sparring I would always lose and I would never be able to break the boards. I participated in competitions and performances, and it has been one of the biggest accomplishments of my life. I made a deal with my parents that I could quit when I got my black belt, and eventually I did. So I did quit when I was about 13 years old, and uh, I do wish that I did continue it. But unfortunately, I did forget most of it now, but now I can say that I do know self-defense and I have a black belt. So now that we've gotten much older, and my parents have been in Canada for a much longer period of time, it's safe to say that they're trying to understand Western culture. But from our point of view, the traditional customs that they were raised in will always be incorporated in the household. 